Hey guys, this is a video on how to install MongoDB for Windows 10. So if you search for MongoDB, you go over to the download center and you download whatever version is right for your system. The release right now that I'm recording is version 3.4 and this is actually what I have installed on my uh, system, which is Windows 10. And we're also going to be using RoboMongo. So go ahead and download RoboMongo and this is just a GUI for interacting with your MongoDB instance. And it's free to download, so if you just go to download, you go ahead and install it, and it's going to be available. So once you have MongoDB installed on your Windows 10 machine, there's a couple steps that you need to take. First, you want to make sure that you add to your environment variables the location of the executable. MongoDB may do this for you. To be honest, I'm not sure. But if they do, then it's as your system is getting restarted. So I just went ahead and added it manually. And you can do that by going into your system security security and maintenance excuse me system and advanced system settings environment variables and I want to edit and I pasted in the location of my MongoDB instance and this is where they install it program files MongoDB server 3.4 bin so I'll just hit OK and OK and OK so once you've added your environment variables to your system there's actually one other step so right here, you can see that in the program files, we have our MongoDB folder in our server. And you also have to add to the C drive a data folder and then a DB folder. So Mongo is not going to automatically add this for you. So you need to make sure that you go to new folder and you add both a data and a DB folder. Now, once both of those are added, you can start your MongoDB instance by navigating into a terminal. And here I'm just using a regular Windows terminal. And we type the command mongod. So it's M-O-N-G-O-D. Now our MongoDB instance is running and it's waiting for connections on port 27017. So now let's open up our RoboMongo. So this is what RoboMongo looks like when you open it up. And it's going to ask you to create a new instance so first you have to go to create and then it's just going to load up this local connection and it's already serving on 27017 so you have to save that and then once you save that then it's going to add this new connection so then you can connect to that so if I open it up right now and I click under system we have two uh, databases that are created automatically when our MongoDB instance is created however that's all that's created so right now I don't have any databases so let's go ahead and change that by creating a new database. So here I've opened up another node terminal. It can be whatever terminal. This one just happens to be node. And with the MongoDB instance running, I can just say Mongo, and this is going to open up the shell. So there's a few simple commands that you want to get used to. The first is show DBs, and it's going to show you all the DB, DBs that you have. And I haven't created any new ones other than the ones that are automatically added. So to create a new database, I can use the command use. So we'll just say use test. And it's switched into the test database and a new test database has been created. So now that we're inside of this test database, we can start using the prefix DB. So DB will automatically reference test and it will take us into that test database. And now I can use whatever commands that I want in order to create and use collections. So first I'll create a collection saying DB dot create collection and pass in the name of the new collection that I want to create, which will be called test collection. Now that we have our new collection created, let's take a look at it in our Robo Mongo. So inside of Robo Mongo, you have to refresh this and you can do that by just going like that, clicking and unclicking. And then we get this new test database. So if I open it up, we're shown our collections and we have one collection which is test collection and we can see it's uh, empty right now so let's add something to our new collection and I can do that by using the name of our collection prefix by DB so DB and then test collection and then I can add something to this manually by saying insert so it's going to say insert then we'll add in our JSON object so we'll start with a name and we'll just say Jim We'll say friends, and it's going to be one. And we'll say address, and one, two, three, fake street. Okay, so we'll add that in, and we get right result one. 
So now we'll look at this in our Robo Mongo. And we'll just refresh this. Go into test, collections, test collection. It opens up something new. And we can find that we have one object. And then we can also see how this looks inside of our actual collection and that this one became 1.0. So we could certainly fix that now that we know that it's a mistake. So there's a number of other commands that you can execute and that you can play around with within the Mongo shell. So I'm going to add this to the description and this is just my notes uh, taken on how to create, insert, update, find, and remove collections and databases within MongoDB. So let's try one more. Let's try dropping this database. So we're already in our test database. So let's try db.drop database. And it says dropped test. Okay. So now we should look in our robo Mongo and see that this database no longer exists. So here we are in robo Mongo and I'll just refresh this and boom, it's gone. So this was just a little introduction to MongoDB on Windows 10 as well as how to use RoboMongo. Please subscribe and like if you would like to see more videos like this.